compression is an effect processing that helps your vocal sound consistent in terms of the loudness level. It makes the loud parts and the quiet parts sound even so that your vocals do not sound inconsistent on a beat, okay? It makes your vocal sound more balanced on a beat. So we're going to look at some parameters that I typically find in most compressors. Right here, we have the threshold. The threshold is the level of loudness the vocal needs to get to for the compressor to start working. For example, if it gets to or above minus 20 dB, okay, minus 20 dB, if it gets to that point, it will start working. And if it falls below this number, minus 20.4 dB, it's going to stop working. Either needs to get to it or cross it before it starts working. Right here, we have ratio. Ratio is how hard you want the compressor to work. If the loudness of your vocal sounds too inconsistent, you may want a slightly higher ratio to help lock it in. But be careful with setting a ratio too high. Because if you set ratio too high, it may make your vocals lose energy and sound flat and unnatural. Right here, we have the attack and the release. The attack is how fast you want the compressor to work on the vocals when it crosses the threshold, okay? And the release is how fast you want the compressor to stop working on the vocals when it falls below the threshold, all right? Right here, we have the gain knob. The gain knob is used to compensate for changes in loudness after compression. Sometimes your vocals lose or increase in loudness after compression. So you can use this knob to compensate for any changes, okay? Some compressors do have something called a knee, okay? But right here, it's called a type in FL Studio, but some other compressors, they call it a knee, okay? The hard knee makes the compressor compress the vocals coming into the full ratio once it crosses the threshold you set. So right here we have a hard ratio, okay? And then the soft knee will gradually apply compression to the vocal even before it crosses the threshold. So you don't need to necessarily cross the threshold for slight compression to start taking place, okay? You typically use the hard knee for drums and compression and most times use the soft knee for vocal so it sounds more natural. When using compressor for vocals, there are options to consider. The common ones you find are digital compressors. These are stock compressors that come with your door they only do one job, which is to compress your vocals. They do not add any color or any texture to the sound that it compresses, okay? It just controls the dynamic range, controls the inconsistency in the loudness level. Then you have analog compressors or analog model compressors. Now, this is an analog model compressor, the CLA76, okay, by Waves. There are many more manufacturers or software developers that do analog model um, compressors what this simply are is that they are actual hardware units that are created but they have software versions or software um, programs okay for example this is one of it so now the analog compressor aside from compressing and you know controlling the inconsistency loudness level they also have a tone to them they are setting characters to the sound that they compress for example this compressor, right, can add a little bit of brightness and a little bit of body to the mix as well. There are some other compressors like the CLA-2A, which adds brightness, okay, to and shine to the sound it compresses. Why there are others that makes it sound darker and fatter, okay? Those are, I think, tube, and those are called tube compressors, okay? So there are a couple of different types of compressors, okay? But for the sake of this lesson, we're going to see what we need to know to make our vocal sound great when using compression. So while we have these two plugins right here, I'm going to turn them off. A trick I share with my students who are new to mixing is to use a dB meter when trying to find what the threshold is because the threshold is the most important thing when trying to set your compressor, okay? So we're going to know what the threshold is because that's where the compressor will start working. But if you don't set your threshold properly, it's not going to compress properly, okay? So we're going to use a dB meter. Now you can simply extend this so you can see the scale, you know, better. So we're going to play, now the vocal is already routed to the mixer insert, so we're going to play this and observe the common point where it drops to minimum, okay? So if I look right here, somewhere around here, it's around minus 23.6 dB. If you look at the top left corner of the screen, you can see minus 23.6 dB. So that's like a common range where it falls to, okay? So I'm going to use that as a guide, okay? So we don't need to turn this off as it does nothing to the vocals, really. Okay, so we're going to turn on this compressor, come down to minus 23.6 dB, okay? Just, or minus 23 dB, okay? And then, now we're going to set our ratio, okay? So if you observe that your vocals has 
a wide dynamic range okay you may want your ratio to be a bit higher okay so if you like the vocal i'm going to use medium um ratio let's say four ratio one okay and then i want the attack i want the compressor to attack the vocals quickly so let's say i'm set about eight milliseconds okay and i want it to keep working a little bit longer after it falls below the threshold okay so that it sounds even more consistent so i'm going to use a slow release time so it doesn't let go of it quickly so let's say about um 500 milliseconds okay so i'm going to press play and if you observe we've lost loudness we've lost some loudness from the vocal so we compensate by increasing the gain so if i turn it off i want you to hear the inconsistency between this point and this other point right here you could be my baby more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need. You can see how much energy comes in here without compression in this section of the song, right? In this part right here. So when I turn the compressor, but you could be my baby, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need. More of you, my body, my answer. You can see how it's now controlled. It doesn't have that wide dynamic range anymore. It sounds more consistent. And this is because I set my compressor properly. Okay? So now we're going to use this compressor to add a character to the vocal to make it sound a little bit brighter and fuller. Okay? But you could be my baby. Now, when using a plugin like this, you want to make sure you do gain compensation so that. The loudness before and the loudness after is the same. What you want to hear is the tone, okay? Because if you just make it louder, you may not really necessarily be doing much. You just want so you want to make sure that the loudness before and after is the same before you start dialing any of these knobs. Alright, it's the same now because I, I adjusted the output, which is the gain. So now we're going to use the input. Now the input on this compressor is the same as the threshold. This is where the compression starts working. This is where the compressor starts working. Okay. So if I take it here, it's going to work harder. Butch, you could be my baby. And if I take it, it's going to work less. Butch, you could be my baby. So let's. Butch, you could be my baby. attack now this compressor the attack and the release work differently compared to the classic compressor that is the stock compressor now you know in this when you increase this slow release when you reduce this fast attack or here it works differently if i increase this it means fast attack okay but when i reduce this it means slow release okay and it may be a bit confusing but that's how it works that's how it was designed okay and also don't forget to turn on the analog mode on the compressor to get the full tone okay to get a good tone out of it so let's say i want a relatively fast attack so let's say somewhere around here is fine and i want a slow release but you could be my baby So when I turn it off, you could be my baby. Turn it on. You could be my baby. You could be my baby.
So if you observe, now that we've com done some compression, we can hear some increase in the breadth of the vocal, okay? So class is good to, you know, clean up vocals before you even start making. So we're going to use a breadth plugin. So when using a plugin like this, please make sure it comes before your compressors, okay? Possibly it should be one of the first few effects on your vocal mixing chain, okay? So we're going to adjust this, make it a little bit sensitive, use the threshold. You could be my baby, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need, more of you my body might answer, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need, more. So you can see how clean and balanced it sounds with the breath taken out, okay? But let's turn off the compression and see if. It really made the vocals better, so I'm going to just turn off, you know, the compressors. So this is the before. You could be my baby, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need, more of you my body might answer. More, 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 more of you I want. And when I turn on the compressors. You could be my baby, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need, more of you my body might answer, more, 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 more of you I want, more of you I need, more of you my body might answer. Please note that the numbers I use in these compressors are not consistent as it's likely to change depending on the project I'm working on. All you have to do is listen with the guide I've shared with you and make adjustments gradually, okay? If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so others can see you too. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I remember Classy. Cheers.